me saying at some point, like, I wish I had never done the show. I don't think it was that at all. Rob Kardashian and Adrian Bailon seemed to be perfect for each other back in 2007. But then everything came crashing down around them when they broke up just two years later. And you'll never believe why the relationship actually ended. In 2007, when the popular reality show Keeping Up With The Kardashians first aired, we all got our first look at Rob and Adrian together. At the time, it seemed like they were really happy together. In early episodes of the show, there was a lot of coverage of the relationship. And even if it wasn't the main storyline, we still got to see a lot of them. Like how Adrian had bonded with Rob's sisters, and even how they got tattoos for each other, which was a pretty big commitment for them to make to each other. They'd also gone on lots of camping trips with both of their families, and they were even known to have shared an apartment together in LA. So it really seemed like they had a strong relationship with a pretty bright future. But after a couple of years, their relationship had taken a turn for the worse, and they shocked everyone when they announced their breakup. No one saw that coming. It was really surprising to everyone, and a lot of questions started flying around. Mainly, everyone just wanted to know why they broke up, but they weren't very quick to give us any kind of reason for that at first. Around March 2009, right after the breakup, an insider talked to Life & Style magazine about their relationship. The insider said that they just parted ways because the relationship was getting too difficult for them. Since Adrian was really focused on her career and Rob was still in school, it all just became too much for them to handle. But the insider also insisted that Adrian and Rob were still close friends, just no longer in a relationship. But that seemed to be enough of an explanation for us all, since we didn't really have any reason to think otherwise, which is why it was so shocking to find out the real reason behind the split. A year later in 2010, Rob finally admitted the reason behind their breakup on an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. He confessed that he'd actually cheated on her. Although he seemed to be really sorry for what he had done, he didn't give us any more information about who he cheated on her with, and it looks like they had all but decided to move on from the relationship after the truth was revealed. But Rob actually wanted to rekindle the romance after seeing Adrian at his sister Chloe's wedding. In 2013, he began calling Adrian non-stop. Honestly, he even seemed to be stalking her a little bit, and he had plans to visit her in New York. And I'm not totally sure if that was a trip that she was expecting from him, since she was actually getting pretty sick of him trying to contact her so much. But it all stopped when Rob received an email from Adrian's new boyfriend saying that she and Rob were over. So he ultimately tried to move on. Although years later, Adrian actually admitted that she never had a boyfriend at the time. She said that it was really just her and her friend writing a fake email to get Rob off her back, but unfortunately her negative interactions with the family didn't stop there since she actually had a small online feud with Rob's sister Kim in 2014 over Twitter, which started because Adrian made a comment about how she felt stuck with a Kardashian label, and if that she had known what it would do to her career, although it wouldn't have changed who she dated, it would have changed her decision to be on the show. And Kim clapped back at her, saying that it was funny how Adrian said the Kardashians label was hurting her career when she was getting publicity because of their name. So after all this, the conversation around Adrian and Rob's breakup had all but stopped. And Adrian had actually moved on, tying the knot with her now husband, Grammy Award winning gospel singer Israel Houghton in 2016. And it looked like 2016 was a pretty big year in healing and growth for Adrian, as she was finally ready to talk publicly about her breakup with Rob. During an episode of Adrian's show called The Real, she finally talked in more detail about how the breakup had affected her. Apparently, at one point after their breakup, Rob had made a comment that an ex-girlfriend of his had cheated on him and had been sleeping around a bunch. So the first thing that Adrian did on her show was that she made sure everyone knew that he wasn't talking about her, since a lot of people thought that it could have been. She said that she never cheated on him or slept around during their relationship and that it was him who did that to her. She said that when Rob cheated, it was a huge blow to her self-esteem because she was constantly thinking about why she wasn't good enough, pretty enough, thin enough, and all these other things that she was worried she was lacking. She also said that even though she has since moved on, being cheated on will always have an effect on her. She said that at the time, she had to be careful and make sure that she wasn't going to bring that into her next relationship. That said, she did also admit that despite how much it hurt, she understood how their young age really played a part in it. And before she stopped talking about the whole thing, she also made sure to address the issue that she had with Kim a couple years prior. She said that she actually didn't regret doing the show. 
and that she didn't really mean that the Kardashian name had ruined her career and that what she said had been misinterpreted. What she apparently really meant was that she wanted to be recognized for her own accomplishments in her career and she didn't just want to be known as Rob's girlfriend. After all is said and done, both Rob and Adrian have moved on and seem to be happy now and even looks like Adrian also fixed her relationship with Rob's sisters as well. In 2017, Adrian admitted that during the breakup, Rob's oldest sister, Courtney, was her breakup buddy since Courtney had broken up with her then boyfriend Scott Disick around the same time, so they leaned on each other for emotional support. Adrian said that Courtney handled her breakup way differently than her, but she felt like she needed someone to push her to have fun, which is exactly what Courtney did. Adrian said that it was really helpful for her at the time and she really appreciated what Courtney did for her. But Adrian also has given strong public support for Rob's other sister, Chloe. She's apparently always thought highly of her and she even claimed that their breakup never really affected her relationship with any of his sisters. Adrian even buried the hatchet with Kim. In 2018, when Kim posted a video of her daughter North watching the Cheetah Girls movie, which Adrian stars in, Adrian actually commented a super sweet and heartwarming message about North in the comment. And Kim even made a little joke saying that she wasn't sure if she would break the news to North that the girl in the movie was almost her aunt. It's clear that Adrian's relationship with the Kardashian sisters continues to be strong to this day. Even just last year, Kim and Courtney had gone to a girls game night after celebrating Rob's 34th birthday earlier that evening and Adrian was there too and she even played on the same team as Kim for the whole night. Kim even posted a lot of pictures on social media showcasing her fun night with Adrian and her other friend. So it looks like everything is in the past now and everyone has moved on from the situation and they all seem to be very happy and still have strong friendships with one another. Although interestingly enough, it does look like Adrian isn't really friends with Rob anymore. But what do you guys think? Did you know the real reason why Adrian and Rob broke up? And what do you think about Adrian sending Rob an email from a fake boyfriend to get him to back off. Let me know in the comments below.